Okay, I'm standing right in the front door. So when you walk in, you're in the living room. These are uh, wood windows, so I'm gonna guess probably original. The floors look original. Bunch of radiators. That's the stairs up to the second floor. So over here, the fireplace. And looking back out, you have these cool French doors out to the front porch. So you have two entrances onto the front porch here. Your main front door that you go in and out of. This high two windows up there. And then these French doors over your covered front porch. And you have your built-ins over the radiator on the one side of the fireplace, bookshelves on the other, two windows. And then you can see the dining room. And then that cut through, I think some people use this room as the kitchen. You're gonna see this flow in a second. They put the kitchen in a, what used to be a back porch, I think. So here's the stairs up. We'll go up there in a minute. I'm gonna walk through. The walls need to be painted. You can see the central air. Um, the trim doesn't look bad. It definitely needs some love, some work. Um, looks like the windows here are replaced. Yeah, these are vinyl windows right here. It overlooks the backyard, this back window. Uh, these, this bay of three windows here overlooks the shared driveway. We'll look at the outside in a separate video. So here I am in the dining room. Turning back around into the living room. Little cut out area right there. So I'm walking through, I think some people have this as a kitchen in these houses. Um, this is the door down to the basement. So this room here could be, I guess, a breakfast nook, or you could relocate the kitchen, maybe. That is a closet right there. That's the arched doorway into the dining room. And that's the door out to the living room. So it's a nice circular flow here. I'm gonna walk around this one. Back in the living room. So I'm walking back into what I'm calling the breakfast nook. And if you pass through here, it's the closet. And then this is the kitchen, which definitely needs some love. So gas stove, gas range, the old exhaust fan there. These old cabinets. Beat up old linoleum floor, another counter cabinet, and there's the fridge. Um, so we're looking straight out into the backyard, which also needs some love. This side here is overlooking the shared driveway and shared garage. So one bay of the garage would be this house. It's the bay with the bump out there, which um, gives possibility for some more space, which is kind of cool for a home office or something. But um, yeah, when you see this one in person, you can really tell it needs a little more love than the, than the pictures let on. See the floor? Okay. And that's a side door out to a side yard. And it wants to use it because it sticks. So. I'm going to go upstairs and then we'll go down to the basement. So, upstairs. This cool little window bench here. Three windows across. And you can have the center hall landing. All four bedrooms are off this one landing. So, as I stand at the top of the stairs, to the right 
you have two bedrooms. This is the back of the house here. So it's overlooking the backyard. So one bedroom, two bedroom, hall bath, and then two bedrooms on the front side of the house. So all four bedrooms share off this common hall landing. And you have a couple of little closets here for storage. So we'll look at the bathroom real quick. It looks like it's been updated. Not recently, but seems to be in pretty good shape. Pedestal sink. Okay. So this is one of the back bedrooms here. Good light. Got two windows. Norbert's closet, actually pretty deep for Norbert's closet. This one bedroom. This is the other little closet in the hall. Bedroom. Second of the back bedrooms here. You can see the uh, air conditioning. That's the high velocity air conditioning ducts. Uh, again, a decent closet. Also two windows, which is nice for light. These look like original windows. Front bedroom. This one's a double window in the front and then a window to the side. Here are your overlooking Sabine Avenue and the playground is right across the street. Again, a, a pretty deep closet for Norworth. That's the high velocity. And the last bedroom. Again, two windows overlooking the front. This one does not have a window on the side, so it's, the, it's probably the smallest and darkest bedroom would be this one front bedroom. Um, there's no closet here, sorry, it's hard to. The little bump out here, that's from the uh, bathroom. So it looks like they stole some space from here, maybe, for this bathroom. That's where the, uh, the toilet area is over here. All right. So I'm gonna show you the third floor now. That's what this door is. It's not finished, but it's a walk-up attic. warm. It's a warm day today. Big fan. There's the AC. I mean, you could probably make some space up here. Just relocate that and like kind of hide it more. Build a pony wall. I'm standing up. No problem headroom wise, but you reach a point where you'll knock your head, right? So here's some of the old knob and tube there. I don't know if that's at all active. Um, I know they had some electrical work done. Okay. All right, we'll go downstairs. down and hit the uh, basement. So we go back down the stairs. It's a really cute house. Lots of potential. There's this breakfast room. The breakfast room is the one that has the, the door to the basement here. 
And as you head down to the basement, you see there's an exterior door to the side yard. This is where the laundry is down here in the basement. Steps a doozy. All right, so you have a it's a decent ceiling height. The um, you know the pipes I can walk under, and I'm not short, but um, that's but the lowest part would be the pipes there. Got some storage that looks like a newer basement window, so that's nice. Um, so you have that laundry area. Here's some of the utility area in here. The electric boxes. There's two of them. I don't know, there's unfortunately not a light in here, but there's the water heater and the heater. Uh, what's the heater? Looks like water heater is 2019 or 14. What is that? 19. 19. Good. Uh, there's the two electric boxes. Another newer window. In case we're in this little utility area, there's a little utility sink. This was drywalled out here to as a nook for the washer and dryer. And then there's this other area in the back, the basement. So this could be like a rec room area. Um, and here's actually a little powder room. And presumably this door leads to the back. Let's see. It's kind of stuck on the floor. Um, I'll turn around one more time. So you get a feel for the basement. I'm standing in front of that back door. Okay. All right, I'm going to uh, turn this off and then I'll take a quick video of the outside. 